Welcome to my fragrance show. We'll learn together and grow together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to my fragrance show. I am Marshall's Blend Fragrance, and today we're going to be trying the World Incense Gravity and Orman Jane's Nawab of Oud. I purchased both these at perfumology.com. 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 <laughs> so let's talk first about Orman Jane Nawab of Oud, and the word Nawab means a ruler. Would you like me to read you something? Would you like me to share some information about Nawab Avud? I would gladly share some information about Nawab Avud with you. <laughs> it says, Nawab, ruler of Oud, is a province of central India. Our perfume is inspired by the Nawabs who once ruled over it. It is a potent blend of amber and rose with a soft Oud edge. Yet, surprisingly, not one ingredient stands out from the others. It achieves a perfume synergy that defies traditional analysis, releasing a pulsating pungency, brooding and hauntingly beautiful, a rich tapestry of fascinating depths, a jeweled veil to conceal its emotional complexity and extravagance, presented in a 50 milliliter bottle at 42%. Check that out. So I'm just going to read the notes, period. Green notes, bergamot, orange absolute, cardamom, aldehyde, rose, magnolia, orchid, pimento, bay, cinnamon, hedione, ambergris, musk, vetiver, labdanum, and oud. So here is another uh, vetiver fragrance. But right now I'm focusing on the oud. And so that's what it is. So this is a floral oud fragrance. I'm gonna spray this one on my right arm. Oh, it smells, this is a, oh, this is off the bat, this is a really delicious floral oud. Smelling it up close is wonderful and diffused is even better. This opening is absolutely gorgeous. If you do like floral ouds, this is one. Does it smell like the others? Not necessarily. And I think the vetiver is what gives it, a, a, it's just its own energy. And I, even in the opening, you pick up the oud because you feel it. But what they say is true. This is properly blended in the sense that it you don't you don't separate too much of anyone you know they're there because you're picking it up but they're blended and that's at the opening so this opening honestly i would have to immediately give it a 32 out of 10 it gets a 32 out of 10 because it is a floral so not everybody loves florals if you like florals this might get a 42 it would go up by 10. Okay, let's talk about the world in sense gravity. It's, it says a barbershop, a football game, a local market, and a springtime hike through a field of blooming flowers. Marc Saint Marie stitched together sensory imports from these memories to formulate a modern fougere with a wink ding, at the genre's historical precedence. The fragrance of this amazing collation of scents hits you when entering barbershops, like the smell is of the woodwork, the shave soap, the talcum, the hair products, the spices, the lavender, and yes, the interior wood itself. Further inspiring gravity, plus are freshly cut hay and wildflowers wafting through the air of a nearby farm. The notes are lime, bergamot, necroli, Lemon, geranium, lavender, hay, cognac, honey, cypriol, tonka bean, oud, amber, and musk. The only thing that it's missing is the 
obvious thing, the oak moss. And that's why it's their spin on a fujay, fujay, fujay. So let's check out and see how it smells. By the way, <sighs> Nawab of Oud is such an elegant fragrance. I, it's impressive. It's really impressive. I'm gonna spray the gravity on my left arm. Automatically, yeah, it does give you Fougere energy. I get it over here. Wow. Uh, for me, it opens immediately powdery. You get the barbershop powder. Um, this is almost like an elevated Clubman. I don't know if you guys know or are familiar with the Clubman uh, Fougere. Just, it's like an elevated, like you can tell these are all like absolutely great materials. I like it a lot. This gets, uh, for me, an automatic 40 out of 10. That's an automatic 40 out of 10. The opening. Okay, so that's the opening. I shall be back. I'm gonna go out, run an errand, and be back, and I will let you know how it works, how it performs. What are my thoughts? Did it uh, lose points in the dry down, or did it stay the same, or did it go up? All right, see you guys. I am back, and it was a fun excursion, or whatever. I had to go outside, and I had a good time. Let me tell you. <sighs> Nawab of Oud is good. It's good. I like it a lot. You guys know I like rose oud fragrances. Niche for All is one that is my favorite. Recently, I tried another one that I really enjoyed. And right now, this is a nice injection of a rose oud fragrance. I gotta say, it's really good. So the two milliliter costs sixteen dollars. Two milliliter decant sample at Perfumology costs sixteen dollars, and the fifty milliliter costs two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Is it worth the price? I would say yeah. Because this is absolutely delicious. It's a great oud fragrance. So it does actually go up. It does uh, get a. I'm gonna give it a forty. I want to say 45, but I'm going to say 40. It's a 40 out of 10 in the dry down. It's You get a perfect blend of all the notes. Nothing is overly standing out. It's floral, yes, but it's not a floral that will offend a person who doesn't like floral fragrances simply because it's so well blended. That oud is not something that's overbearing. It's not something that you can't introduce a person to. I just do believe this is one you can use as an, not only introductory, but also one that is exceptional. I like it. So gravity at Perfumology, the two milliliter decant goes for $8, American dollars I'm talking. And this, I will say, is what I will call an oudje spin on fouge it's a ouger you do keep the fresh the greenness the flowery you also receive the oud so it's a ouger it's like where they removed the oak moss and they injected the oud and it created some uh, different genre of fouger it's a ouger <sighs> so this one keeps its grade i like it a lot it's good it's one that is it full bottle worthy if uh, I were to be able to find a full bottle yeah I would say yeah I'd say yeah I wouldn't I would be happy to have it I would be happy to, and definitely happy to give it so both of these are definitely giftable you can give them as gifts they can go to both men and women because they are essentially like right down the middle of what is green and flowery and oud goodbye my lovely fragrance blenders I'll see and smell you soon Ciao, ci vediamo pronto Ayo, dariarinho, dasvidanya <laughs> Hasta la pasta.